Hey, in this video I'm gonna walk you through my favorite sub 250 FPV setup. Hi guys, I'm BitsyFPV, welcome to my channel. It's the first time I make this kind of video since I usually just upload some short edits of my flights, mainly long range stuff. However, I decided to make this video because recently I did a job where these two small platforms turned out to be my favorite rigs and definitely the ones I would always take with me for a job. So, someone asked me what my setup was for this shot I made in Venice, so I made this video to show it to you all. Let me know in the comments below if you like this kind of content and please consider subscribing to the channel. Also, this is my Instagram page. Please consider following if you like my videos. Ok, so we are talking about a sub 250 grams drone, which allows you to make slow cine whoop style lines, but also fast and acro things like dives or chasings. These rigs can also be pushed in a pretty aggressive freestyle in the right hands, of course. These drones are built around Ledron Club model frame. Basically, this is the 3 inch version of a modular open source frame. If you're interested, you can find the link to Ledron Club YouTube channel and Thingiverse page down in the description. What I like about this frame is that it's open source, it has individual arms, which is awesome because with unibodies you have to replace the entire frame if you break an arm. Also, this frame offers multiple mounting options, whoop style boards, 20x20 and also 16x16. 16 16. There are mounting holes also on the top plate where I put the vista. These two builds are almost identical. An all-in-one board, 1404 motors, a Crossfire Nano receiver and a Cadex Vista with the Nebula Nano. For props, my favorite are the Gemfen 3016. Unfortunately, the Nebula Pro wasn't an option when I built these rigs, but I will definitely swap for it on both setups since the image quality is a lot better. On this one, I use 1500 KV Mamba 1404 motors and I run it on these 4S Ministar HV, which are 550 mA, and I get around 4.5 minutes of flight time. On this other one, I use the Emacs Seco 1404 600 kV and I run it with this GNB3S 1100 HV and I get up to 6 minutes of flight time if I don't go too aggressive on the throttle. On this one, I also have a rear mount for the Naked Hero 6. It's made with the bottom guard piece of a Beta 95 XV2 the screw holes match perfectly with those of the arms. This allows me to have the naked GoPro mounted on the back of the quad to shot some interesting backwards stuff. These builds are pretty standard, I don't do anything really special, 
I just solder my naked GoPro power cable directly to the main battery leads since I'm running these rigs in 3 and 4S so the back inside the camera can easily manage the voltage and step it down to 5 volts. The only really important thing I do is conformal coating the board. I use the MG Chemicals conformal coating and this allows me to fly with every weather condition also during a snowstorm. The weight of the two setups is almost identical, around 140 grams dry and 235 all up weight, including of course the naked GoPro with an ND filter. And this is the 5 inch cargo version of the model and as you see it's an ultralight long range platform. All the footage of my last video on the Dolomites come from this rig. Let me know if you want a dedicated video to know the specs of this drone. Finally, I'd like to say a few words about the comparison between these three inch setups and the popular two and a half pusher style. To me, the three inch wins in everything. It flies a lot better and it makes a lot less noise. Stepping up from two and a half to three inch really makes a huge difference in terms of flight performance. You gain authority and control on the quad and it behaves a lot more like a regular 5 inch rather than a whoop. When I need something with prop guards and a smaller footprint, usually to film indoor, I go down to an 85mm like this. So for me this 95mm class doesn't really make sense, unless you don't want to save money and space having just one rig to shoot stuff both indoor and outdoor. Needless to say, all the FPV footage you saw in this video was shot on these two rigs, I'll leave you with some more and thanks for watching, see you next time.